Hello everyone and welcome back. It uh, It's raining. It's a rainy, dreary day. We probably got uh, over an inch of rain today, so we're not plowing this afternoon. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about a subject that seems to be pretty popular in the last day or so. And uh, but before we go any further, I am going to make this statement, and I, I mean this statement from the bottom of my heart. Uh, this is not a political video, uh, so be sure to watch it to the end. I want to uh, uh, use a current event to make another point. Uh, I do not delve into politics on YouTube. I have my political beliefs, which are mine, and it would be rude and inconsiderate of me to try to, uh, you know, push them off on anyone else. Uh, along the same token, you know, I feel that about other people's political or whatever belief system they have. Uh, you know, you're you're good to have yours. Uh, don't push them off on me, and uh, we get along just fine. Um, because I believe that's everyone's right. You know, to debate it, it, there's no problem with. But that's not what we're doing today. So, as you may or may not be aware of, a political figure uh, made a comment, and I'm paraphrasing here, that uh, basically farmers or blue-collar type folks, factory workers and stuff, it, it didn't take a lot of intelligence to do those occupations. And, and you know, that's bad enough. That That's bad enough that uh, this particular individual decided to make that statement, but unfortunately and sadly uh, he's not alone in that opinion uh, you know that that in some circles that's a common held belief and nothing could be further from the truth uh, you know agriculture is a very very complex uh, job uh, occupation if you if you farm and you do it correctly, you are a non-stop, 24-7 problem solver. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of um, mental and intestinal fortitude. The problem with these types of statements and these types of uh, thoughts or points of view, if you will, is... That they're based in ignorance and you know if it, ignorance means not knowing uh, you're ignorant of a subject uh, so uh, you know part of the problem is that farmers make up less than two percent of the population and we don't do a real good job of telling everyone what what we do uh, you know if you live in an urban area and you're cut off from the rural agriculture uh, sections of the country you can't survive period you just can't uh, th there's no way to survive um, what people don't realize and this is kind of the point that I want to make we talk a lot of times about you know the modern life and the modern life is possible because of the mechanization and the numbers of folks in agriculture being reduced. Before the mechanization mechanization of agriculture, basically everyone had to farm or live close to a farm uh, to to survive, to live. Uh, once farming was mechanized and we had infrastructure to transport farm goods, uh, fewer people had to grow their own food they give them an opportunity to move into more urban areas which spawned the industrial revolution which led to multiple uh, technological advancements in society which led to fewer and fewer folks needed in rural agriculture areas of the country because we became so efficient at it that uh, fewer people could feed a lot more people we started feeding more people per acre and, and that trend has continued. So, uh, you know, if you get on social media, there's a lot of banter about 
the comments made and you know it's it's one of those things if you're involved in agriculture you need to educate people where the food comes from you need to educate them that this is not an easy job you know basically we're busting our backside uh using creative ever creative mean you can think of to feed the world and it's often underappreciated and same with blue collar work you know uh <laughs> i was talking to a farmer today and he said that he was going to invite this individual to his farm to help square bell hay all day and then they would both go take an iq test and uh you know that's <laughs> that's kind of uh i think a lot of folks is the folks opinion but you know uh tell your story and in a nutshell that's the reason for my youtube channel i just want to tell the story uh there's stories i know of youtube of all sorts of farmers different farming operations and you know some of them i'll watch some of them i don't uh but the the idea is to tell the story of a small part-time farmer and you know uh the knowledge that's anybody that's ever talked and had a candid conversation with an old farmer realizes that they are a walking talking encyclopedia of knowledge uh, practical knowledge and uh, so you know it's one of those things uh, oftentimes you know I said this is not a political thing and it's not because you know I'm a firm believer and uh, I'm a firm fan of Mark Twain and some of his quotes and one of them is, and I'm paraphrasing once again, is it is better to remain quiet or to, it is better to keep your mouth closed and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. And I think that's a quote we could all use every now and then. Anyhow, we're going to get to spring tillage at some point. Maybe. We hope. <laughs> uh, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. Uh, if you a video you like give it a thumbs up if you have a comment or question please do so that's just my two cents worth on today's current events take care we'll talk to you guys later bye